All right, Josh here, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2018 Battle Spot Live series. Now, today we are actually switching teams. It wasn't something I was in planning on doing yet, but the other team we're using, the Sand Team, I think I need to go back to the drawing board with it. It's very, um, I don't know, wishy washy. Like, not the Pokemon, but um, yeah, like, like it, it does well against some things, and other things, it's just got such a bad matchup and. I, I did try and change it, getting rid of Bulu for Lele, which helped the Trick Room match up, but then the Tapu Finny match up was absolutely awful. Like, pretty much every time I played a team with Tapu Finny, like, I was struggling to win, really struggling. Uh, there just wasn't many options for it, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm going back to the drawing board with that. I think, well, we'll, well, we will use that the Sand Team again in the future at some point when I, like, nail it, basically. I like Volks. Uh, I like the Volcona men's Excadrill kind of core, and I did like Lele on it as well actually, I did like the Lele. I didn't like Milotic, Milotic felt like dead weight half the time to be honest, so I want to replace that for another water type. I need something for Tapu Fini and Tyranitar, although I love Choice Scarf, lock, being locked into Choice Scarf sometimes, especially towards the end, if, if my opponent got a surprise knockout and I was locked into a move I didn't want to be locked into. You know, it was just, it was basically game over. So, yeah, I might go with a different type of Tyranitar. So, those are the things I'm going to work on with the other team. So, today, I decided to change teams because I built this team, like, well, I, I started building this team a bit ago, but, like, I, like, got it, finished it yesterday, and I did really well on Showdown on it. Like, uh, I was, I think it was in, like, the top, I think it got to, like, maybe, like, 180 on the ladder, which is pretty good. So, um, yeah, and I really wanted to use this team today because I thought it was ace. So, it's basically a rehash of the first team we used but there's only like two original members of that team basically but yeah I'll just go for it so we got Charizard Y again um, so I did say I like ages ago I'll go back to the first team I didn't expect to go back to it today but that's what we've done so anyway we've got Charizard Y again I did change the spread a little bit like I put um, I think before I just had like overall bulk in HP now I've gone like more bulk in specifically defense uh, because I wanted to live that Zen headbutt in the terrain from Mega Metagross, in the psychic terrain, because that, that was doing Charizard last time. Uh, but I can actually lift that now, so <clears throat> that's really good. And yeah, it's the same move set protect, air slash, flame throw, and heat wave. I love having air slash, that's come in handy quite a lot of times. So, yep, that's basically the same Charizard, just a bit of a different EV spread. We'll see. I could always change it back if it's not doing that well. Next, we have a Tapu Finny. And why Tapu Finny on a Sun team? I actually don't have any water type moves on Finny, which is so strange because, I mean, what's the usual type of Finny set? Well, if it's not Specs, you Protect, Car Mind, Muddy Water, Moonblast. I've actually gone, okay, bear with me. <laughs> I've gone Moonblast, um, Icy Wind, Taunt, and Car Mind. So I don't have Protect, but we are, everything, we're just purely bulky, like, all of, all the EVs and stuff are in bulk, it's not, like, none in special attack, so, because we can Car Mind up, basically. And we've got the, uh, one of the berries, a guava, I think. Can't remember. A guava or a papa? No, it's, it's a guava berry. Um, so, yeah, got taunt for trick room. Stop that. And, yeah, I didn't, yeah, I just didn't bother with, with a water type attack, even though, you know, it's finished stab because, because I want to be setting up sun most games. Um, I just needed a fairy type. An icy wind actually made a lot of sense for speed control because, uh, yeah, I really need some good speed control on the team. I didn't want to put tailwind on Charizard. And that's basically the type of thing. It's a bit more supportive, but it's also set up as well, kind of. But we'll see how that plays. I might change the moveset on that. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. And then we have Landorus, which is, is honestly the exact same as the Landorus we used before. The Ground DMZ, we protect, knock off, obviously Earthquake and Rock Slide. Same EVs and everything. It's a little bit bulky, you know. It can live a hidden power ice. <clears throat> it can live a hidden power ice from a life orb type of Coco, so that was something I definitely want to, like a, a, an area I want to read. So, um, yeah, that's what I'd say about Landorus, it's just Landorus in it, but then we have, I was going to put Assault Vest Landorus on actually, but our next Pokemon, Raichu, is Assault Vest, and this Raichu, oh my god, when I was playing on Showdown last night, you've no idea how good this Raichu was, okay, so we got, we got Raichu with the Assault Vest, it's, it's super fast, like my, my, well, it's not super fast, it's base 110, uh, max speed, timid, then we got pretty much everything in bulk, to be honest, um, <clears throat> so yeah, it's Assault Vest, and we got Fake Out, Faint, 
um, Vault Switch and Nuzzle. Nuzzle is amazing. I know I've got Tappy Finney on the, on the uh, team as well, so I have to be careful when I want to Nuzzle. If I bring those two together, I, I've got to get those Nuzzles in early, because paralyzing opponents like fast Pokemon is great. I wish I could like paralyze a opposing like Landorus or something, but you know, obviously you can't, but that would be great. But anyway, yeah, paralyzing, I was paralyzing some, I paralyzed like a, a Mega Gengar yesterday and stuff and all sorts. It was great. It was fault switching out, getting intimidating or something. Right to you, honestly, it was insane. It was so good. Just like pure support. And obviously with Lightning Rod, it just protects Charizard so well. Like, I don't know, like, Tapu Koko is a great way just to deal with Charizard. Just whack it with a Thunderbolt straight off the bat, do you know what I mean? In electric terrain. <coughs> or with a Electrium Z. Raichu just shuts that down. That is not happening. All the Tapu Koko can do in front of that is like Dazzling Gleam. And that does nothing to either of us. Like, this Raichu is surprisingly bulky. I'm not saying we're going to be living like, you know, strong earthquake from Landorus or anything, but maybe we're an intimidate or two, maybe, but it's purely there to protect Charizard, basically. I don't actually have Wide Guard on this team. That's one thing I might change. Maybe a Wide Guard, but I'm quite happy with it as it is at the moment. And then, so that's the Raichu. Let's hope, hopefully, it does well today. And then next week, we have Katana. Um, yeah, I wanted like a Grass type. <clears throat> and I was tempted to try this like Tailwind thing that everyone's doing. Obviously, Katana with Tailwind is like Protect. I mean, the, the, like the standard Katana set now is like Protect, Tailwind, uh, sorry, like Detect, Tailwind, uh, Leaf Blade, and Sacred Sword. I noticed like barely anybody is running Smart Strike anymore. So I actually just went Protect, Smart Strike, Sacred Sword, Leaf Blade. And Smart Strike's got some Tapu Lilies, like caught a few Tapu Lilies off guard just say because no one really runs it anymore. And I don't think Tailwind on Katana is the best thing ever anyway. Everyone's going to see Tailwind and all sorts, but it's quite easy to shut down if you Tailwind yourself and like, I don't know, have something faster like, Raichu probably does a decent amount of it. I could paralyze it as well. Opposing Katanas I'm talking about. So yeah, we won't focus Sash on Katana. You know, we're guaranteed, <coughs> pretty much guaranteed, not 100%, obviously two attacks off. And then last, we have Hydreigon. With Dark EMZ, so we've got two Z moves on this team. Dark EMZ to absolutely nuke. Um, yeah, so basically we've got like two options for Trick Room. Um, we can taunt with Finny, or come on, like most uh, Trick Room setters are either Psychic or Ghost types. Like 90% uh, like Psychic or Ghost. Obviously not like Polygon 2 or something like that, but we can taunt that, for example. So I put Dark EMZ on High Dragon. It has a decent chance to Oko most Cresses and Oranguru and stuff like that. It does a decent chunk to other things. It does like 75% to like a AV Landorus and or 80% or something like 75% to like a bulky heat run and stuff. Just random stuff like that. I was checking it against all sorts of stuff. It, it does a decent amount of damage because I'm not actually, I'm modest. I'm actually modest at High Dragon, but I'm not max special attack. I, I, I EV'd it so it's just, so it always outspeeds um, B -b 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 jolly Landorus, just in case, you never know. Because Landorus can Oko with a superpower, and you turned us a ton. So, got to play around that a little bit, but obviously just cycling my Landorus in with Intimidates can work around that. So, the moveset for Hydragon is Protect, Tailwind, Draco Meteor, and Doppel. So, yeah, Tailwind on Hydragon, which is... Uh, I don't know. I, I needed it. Need, I want... I do want Tailwind on this team, because we've got like a decent amount of speed control. We've got Icy Wind on Finny, Nuzzle on Raichu to Paralyze, and yeah, Tailwind on High Dragon. Obviously, that's we can get a Tailwind off as long as we're not fa uh, facing down any fairies. Uh, High Dragon does not want to take any fairy type moves. I think it can live like a Dazzling Gleam from a non life old Coco. And probably like. Then that's probably that. That's the tube. <laughs> I think that's about it. I was gonna like invest loads in HP and special defense just to like live fairy type attacks, but it's just, oh, it's just silly because I've got switching so that I can switch in Finny. I think we're switching Katana to be honest. Anyway, so I've kept the. I was gonna reset the rating, but I didn't bother in the end. So let's just uh, let's get underway. Let's try this team. I hope it does alright. It was doing really well yesterday, so so we can keep all that free. So we're seven and five at the moment. 1533, okay. Well, let's see if we can how far we can climb up with this team. I'm probably using it over the next couple of weeks while I'm away, at least. Um, I was, like, I'm going away, like, next week. Next week. Maybe next week, yeah. Um, so, yeah, pre-recording quite a lot, but oh, we're actually playing some hundred pounds for 1509. Chiba. don't know what that is. Politoed, Swampert, Landorus, Tapu, Coco, Katana, and Cress. Okay, I haven't actually played a Trick Room team yet. Um, Trick Room, sorry. Uh, Rain. Rain team. Well, we do have Katana. 
Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I I've just like theoried it more than uh, actually tested it. Like I said, I tested it a bit. Okay, so I want to go. Hmm. High Dragon's pretty good against Rain. Swamp, well, I mean, Swamp Perk can Ice Punch, but we sh should be able to live one. Oh man, I don't know where to go with here. This is quite tough. Uh, I definitely, I think I definitely want to leave Finny. Maybe Finny Raichu. I actually quite like that. Finny Raichu. I think I'll bring Zard to shut down the rain. And who do I go for my last? I'm just leading Finny just in case my opponent goes Cress. So I'll need to taunt that thing. Oh man, should I bring Katana? Maybe Katana is quite important actually. I need to bring Katana. Not bringing Lando, so we can't get any intimidates off on that. Um, oh, we froze. Classic OBS. Okay, so this should be interesting. My opponent might not even bring Tapu Koko just because Raichu just shuts it down. Obviously, can't nuzzle the. Oh, that was about pause. I can't nuzzle the uh, thingy with you. Okay, so my opponent goes Katana and Politoed. <clears throat> okay. This is where I wish wish I had a water type attack. There's no Perish Trap, is there? No. That's that's good. I mean, I could calm mind. That's not really going to matter against Katana, though. Actually, I am going to calm mind. I'm going to calm mind, fake out Katana, and then next turn, I'm going to nuzzle it. Polito probably just attacks Raichu, but we. Should we should live anything it can do. Just scold. To fight you, we live that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. The power of Raichu is, is ridiculous, honestly. Um, I might just Icy Wind. And I'm gonna nuzzle the Katana. Oh, I can't paralyze it! Oh, this is why I need to keep. Oh, so stupid. I should have. I should have uh, <laughs> we made a mistake like straight away. That's okay though, it doesn't matter. We should live a. Uh, I'm so stupid, man. This is what I need to watch out for. <gasps> Swords dance. Oh dear. Oh, we are going to slow it down though, either way. Yeah, Moonblast can knock it out if I double into it. Guys, that is not bad damage. Okay, we should be, finish should be fast enough. Eject button. Oh my god, I, I can't believe I made that mistake straight away. I was talking about in team preview, like, or, or before, and the team like, don't nuzzle when Raichu and Tapu Finny are on the field together. And look what I do. Okay, Swamp Up, yeah. I mean, you just want an Earthquake here, obviously. I should live one. Oh no, he oh, saw the stance, didn't it? Oh dear. You can want an earthquake. Do I get rid of Raichu? I might try and Volt Switch out. I don't think I'm going to get this off though. Maybe I should have fainted. I think Swamp it probably just. Maybe Waterfalls Raichu. I've messed up it. I messed up. I've misplayed big time. For a start, I didn't expect the sword stance. Oh my god, I should. I should have done what I said. I should have done it. I should have, um. Huh. Okay, bye bye, right, you. <sighs> okay, we're gonna slow down at this one, but anyway. And we're gonna bring Charge on next, anyway. <clears throat> I 
They don't bring in my own katana. I'm bringing in katana. Oh, it saves up. That's Icy Wind again. Whatever's coming in. I'm going to Sacred Sword, the opposing katana. This one for protection is super obvious. And my opponent just have Landorus. So if they switch that in, which I doubt they switch into a Finny, I don't know. I need to kill that katana basically. I could have brought in Zard there, but let's face it, if I brought in Zard, my opponent would just switch in Politoed and it's pointless. Could have gone for Air Slash though. This is probably going to be a speed tie between Katana and the opposing Katana, more than likely anyway. Oh, we actually win it! My opponents did not protect the Swampert. You are crazy. <laughs> Could have got a Beast Boost there. That's okay though. Rock Slide. You see that Katana's actually f faster than, than the Swampert now as well. We shut that thing down. Actually, that miss as well is super good because now um, we cannot. Oh, our focus sash is still intact. <sighs> oh no, my opponent did bring Tapu Coco. Okay, that's bad. So, do I kill the Coco? Finny's not living anything from this thing. Should I KO the Coco? Will you protect Swampert here? Probably. We are car minded though. The Leaf Blade should knock out Coco as well. I might discharge actually. If he discharge, finish should live that. I forgot we had a car mind up. Swampert switches out into Polytoad, obviously. Okay. This is a good turn. Don't paralyze. Bye bye, Swampert. I, I, well, honestly, I wasn't expecting that, but my opponents just lost the sweeper, basically. Great. He's still got Coco, though. And this should do a decent chunk to Politoed as well. Not dreadful. The rain stopped. The problem is Charizard. I really need to Icy Wind. I need to slow down that Coco because Charizard loses otherwise. I need to detect Icy Wind. Oh man, this is tough. I've, I've made a lot of mistakes this game. I do apologize. I can't believe I went for that nuzzle at the beginning. What a moron. Helping hand. Oh, into... Well, you might go into, into um, Katana, actually. Expecting the tank. Or are you just going to take out Finny? Go for Dazzling Gleam. Oh, that's amazing. I think we win this now. not have protect. Should I car mind again? Is that greedy? Is that greedy? Good taunt. I might just leaf blade Politoed actually. I might duel into Politoed. They should kill it anyway. Maybe there's no point in taunting. Yeah, type of cocoa protect, so it's kind of what I was expecting there. Oh well, we're just gonna kill it. That's fine. Maybe that, that was a weird play. I don't know why I taunted and Leaf Blade did the same spot. I don't know, you never know what could go wrong. Could have been... I don't know what the hell it could have been. Okay, so we just win. Okay, I, well... I mean, we get the win, but... Definitely not happy about how I played that. It was really sloppy. Like, super sloppy. That was okay, though. Match with 4 yeah, probably. 
GG. I played that really bad, especially that nuzzle. Jesus. <laughs> um, my opponent swapping Coco for Swampert was super good as well, because the Leaf Blade would have knocked Coco out, because I was at plus one. I think, was it plus one then? Yeah. So that would have knocked Coco out, but my opponent switched in Swampert, which was just... And I did have Charizard in the back for weather control at the end, so... Like I said, all I needed to do was... Um, Icy Wing Coco. Yeah, just slow it down a tiny bit and Charizard can finish up. Okay, so we do get that win. That's good. We're not having that music. I'll say because next time we need to play a little better. Play that really bad. Never mind. Uh, quick! Map from California. Let's go. You have... Well, some heat. Interesting. Gothitelle, T, Tar, Bulu, Finny, and Snorlax. Okay, so obviously Trick Room is a thing here. So we're going to go Finny and... Hmm. That's going to be Mega T, Tar. <laughs> hmm. Raichu's pointless here. <clears throat> Raichu's completely pointless. Charizard? Katana's really good. Hydreigon? Hydreigon's alright too. Apart from playing against Finny, that's that'd be bad. I have to remember I'm gonna get um peri um peri tra I'm gonna get just trapped. Shadow tagged. So that's what I was looking for by Gothitelle. So I, I'm definitely going Finny. <sighs> Who do I want to be trapped with? I could bring... Actually, Lando would be okay. I definitely need Katana. Now do I go Hydragon or Zard? Hydragon or Zard. Hydragon or Zard. Zard. <sighs> this is going to be weird. It really depends on... <clears throat> what my opponent leads. I think Gothitelle for sure. But we have Torn on Finny. Which I very much doubt my opponent will expect. Cause it's not really that common anymore. I saw it a few times last year, but... I never actually used Torn on Finny Mental. It's actually Gothitelle time, so that's actually like... I don't know, that's kind of like the perfect... The perfect lead. For me to see, anyway. Okay, it's not Trace Scarf Tyrant, so that's good to know as well. <clears throat> you could expect Tyrant and Todd to protect here. The thing is, an Ice Punch won't knock me out. Because it's intimidated. It shouldn't knock me out anyway. t tar has got me scared here. I'm going to taunt, knock off the Gothitelle. My opponent protects Gothitelle and, and attacks with... Yeah, Tita switches out. Fantastic. Bulu? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Goth Cell's surely going for Trick Room. I'd, very be, I'd, be, I'd be very surprised if it wasn't. That does a lot of damage. That did a lot. I'm actually quite surprised about how much that did. Yeah. Called it. Do I let Finny go down? I can kill Gothitelle at that range now anyway. Who else do we need Finny for? Finny's actually pretty useless now. It just it did its job there. Might Moonblast the... Do you reckon Gothitelle switches out? Probably. I'm going to Moonblast the Gothitelle slot and... Knock off the Bulu. I might do that actually, just to get rid of his item. We've got Katana Charizard in the back. That should clean up whatever's left. Really. If, if my opponent gets a double knockout here, which is. What was it? Figgy? By a Papa. Okay, so this. Sh mm, actually, this might not kill the Gothitelle. No, it doesn't. Woodhammer into Finny, surely. Yeah. <clears throat> You're going to take so much recoil, though. you got to take so much recoil. 
psychic, that's fine, we live that. <coughs> no problem. Yeah, that not it. I could bring in um, Katana actually. I'm going to bring Katana because I can KO Bulu. I'll knock off the Gothatelli again. That should kill it. Katana's obviously not affected by sand. And then Charizard. Okay, so we Smart Strike Bulu. Knock off Gothatelli. Maybe see a switch. Landorus is actually kind of important thinking about it because. Um, we can knock off Snorlax's berry. If my, I imagine my opponent could bring Snorlax if they've gone Trick Room. See, I think my other team that was using the Japan Sand one would have really struggled against this. Although we did have Taunt with uh, Lele. Anyway, we're using this team now. Even though I've been playing it bad that first game. Oh my god. And we heard Nuzzled in the terrain. <laughs> so stupid. Boo actually protects. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. My opponent's like, Smart Strike, what the hell? Bye bye, Gothitelle. Okay. No more Trick Room for you. I don't think there was anything else on my opponent's team that could set up Trick Room. I don't think. Let me think. There wasn't, was there? You mean, would you bring in T Tar again? It's actually Rotom. <sighs> Rotom Heat. Hmm. I'm Sash though. I'm still gonna smart strike Bulu, you know. I'll just rock slide. I think T Tom might come in the Bulu spot. But that would be absolutely fine. Because Smart Strike will do a really good chunk to it. Over half for sure. <laughs> Could have made a prediction and gone for a leaf blade into Bulu, but. I don't think it's necessary. It's not because Smart Strike's super effective anyway. It's not. It's just not. Bleh. This might do nothing. <laughs> oh, we do Rock Slide though. That's a good amount to go to. Flinch. That's fine. Citrus? Hmm. No, probably 50% berry. I'm actually just going to detect this turn and just rock slide again. I could also switch into Charizard. Should I do that? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna switch Katana into Charizard. Just in case it's Z-Moves. I feel like it might be Z-Move. That's Rock Slide again. I feel like it might Z-Move. Because even through Detect, a Z-Move, a Ethereum Z would destroy Katana. Oh, it just protects actually. Okay. Got Bulu running scared now. You run against a Charizard. Like, no, we don't need that. Into Landorus. Is this gonna KO? But yeah, actually does. Oh, Bulu actually goes down. Bye bye, Sandstorm. Hmm. Oh man, this is this is this is rough now. Pretty sure it's Mega Tyranitar anyway. You can ally switch. Goddamn ally switch, man. I'm gonna double protect this turn.
I want Tyrone and Tosmo to evolve. My opponent might just protect on purpose. Nope, my opponent just mega evolves. Okay, that's fine. That means we get weather control. But it also means I boost Rotom. <laughs> but that's okay. I kind of. I don't know. Maybe it's not okay. If this, if this is Ethereum Z, we're screwed. Don't be Ethereum Z. Don't be Ethereum Z. Tyranitar protects as well. Ethereum Z! Oh, I bloody knew it! I knew it! I knew it was Ethereum Z. I knew it. I absolutely knew it. Damn. If we still had the focus, Sash. <sighs> Ally switch turn. I mean, I guess we just go for the bird. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's game. Oh dear, guys, that's a shame. Can't win this now. That's a shame. I knew it was Ethereum Z. I just oh, I bloody knew it. What would have done them differently? I don't know. That Rotom Heat was a bit of a problem, actually. But how often do you really see Rotom Heat to be like, come on. It's not exactly common, is it? Oh, yeah, boy. No, 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 boy. I think you're just alright. Miss? Oh, no, that's game. GG. We ain't living that. Even with whatever defensive investment, I probably we ain't living that. Okay, so yeah, we used a new team. Definitely sloppy. Can't believe I nuzzled in the misty terrain. <laughs> what a moron. Oh well. Yep, we're going to leave this episode here. Cheers for watching. Next time, like I say, hopefully we'll have uh, played a little bit better. But we went one and one. I suppose it's not horrendous, is it? So, mm, I don't know. I'm trying to still try and think what, diff what I could have done differently in that game. Maybe I should have brought in Charizard a bit earlier, to be honest, and, and saved Katana. It was just wrote on heats. I don't really have anything for that apart from Lando. Oh well, it doesn't matter. One of them. Again, cheers for watching and I'll see you all in a bit.